Good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family. RV Debs here, and uh, it is about 11:30 in the evening on Tuesday. And I thought I would just make a short video and talk to you a little bit before I go to bed. Today was a beautiful day here. Uh, we had perfect weather. Uh, highs in the high 70s and lows in the 60s and the sun was shining it was great cat worked out in the garden I sat and kept her company but she planted lima beans black-eyed peas and uh, what else another bean lima bean black-eyed peas and pinto beans and we've got string beans growing strawberries asparagus um, basil and what else I she I, oh onions I don't know how the cauliflower is doing some of it's not coming up and some of it is so we'll see but I uh, I'm enjoying the garden and when they go out of town I'm going to be taking care of the garden and the chickens and uh, today I went and I had made um, every Monday night there's a Bible study group it's all women and we always bring food and have kind of like a, a a little potluck dinner before we before we do we see a video and um, I made tuna noodle like a cold tuna noodle salad uh, I had shells peas tuna fish, uh, purple onion, green olives chopped up, and um, celery. And I took the rest of the celery and I cut it up pretty small and then went into the chickens and fed them the celery. I'm trying to get used to the chickens because they're big and they're kind of aggressive. They don't hurt you or nothing, but they will peck at your feet. You have to wear closed shoes. And uh, usually I'll throw like something out so that they go scurry away from me and, and then I go get the eggs out of the uh, where they nest and they they've been laying about between seven and nine eggs a day we've got lots of eggs and they're delicious uh, today I got a double yoker sometimes they're really big um, also and the asparagus I had for dinner tonight fresh asparagus with some mushrooms and a pork chop that was really good and it's just really nice to get something out of your garden and eat it so I enjoy that very much and I've had some people make comments that say that I you know I'm I'm really lying to myself that I'm really not that happy here and they can tell I don't know how you can tell, but the truth is, I love it here. I mean, I know that sounds weird to people, but I have a lot of family and friends here, and more than I had in Clearwater, Florida, more than I've had in a lot of places that I've lived. So there's definitely nothing wrong with living in a small town with a bunch of people that you know. We're always doing something. I mean, bored. I could be bored. It'd be very easy to say, oh, yes, I'm bored. There's, I can't go to a movie and I got to drive an hour to the mall. But it's not the truth. The truth is that we're always busy doing stuff. And when we're not doing stuff, then I'm happy to have a day that we don't do anything. On Mondays, I have a Bible study, like I said, with the ladies. And I enjoy the heck out of learning. Uh, we've been, it's a, a video that we watch and then we talk about it and just have a good time together and that was the story of Gideon so that's actually in the first uh, testament the old Bible and it's all new to me I've never gotten into it until now so that's very interesting I like it and then on Saturday and Sunday was well, Saturday's family night uh, this past Sunday we went they had the two-year-old hunter had a party so we had dinner and a cake I had some cake, I have to admit. Anyway, that's another story. But uh, it, we're, we're busy. This weekend we have Saturday family night and Sunday we have 
Easter, which is going to be at someone else's home. And Wednesdays, if I want to go, I haven't been going lately, but there's another Bible study group that goes to where we, our church is and is led by our preacher. They're really nice people, and it's very interesting, and it is something that I've never done before, so it's okay, you know? It's okay to, uh, to learn things that you don't know about. I, I am enjoying that part. And do I want to go places, and do I wish I was in Oregon? Sometimes. Sometimes I do, but if I was in Oregon, I wouldn't know anybody. I don't go out and party. I, I don't go to bars. I would just probably wind up staying in my house a lot. So, Rosie, come here. Come on, over here. Can I have a hug? Um... I don't think I would be happy being all alone. Yes, it'd be beautiful to be in Oregon or Washington, but to be there and, and not really know anybody, and if I didn't feel well, or if I, I just wouldn't have anyone that I could, you know, uh, depend on. I mean, I have Kat and Mark. They're my, they're my buds. And uh, so I, I do like it here. I, I'd like to go places. I, I can't wait. Uh, Kathy and I are going to go take a drive and go to Colorado, lower Colorado, uh, and New Mexico for like a couple nights just to get away in May. And that should be fun. And I plan on going to Austin and, vi and just checking out that scene. But I, I think coming back home here, this is home, well, it'll always be good to come home. You know, it's I love not having the traffic jams, and people do, t they take it slow here, and I like that, I like it. I mean, I know people go, oh, she's, she's not, she's not telling the truth, but I am telling the truth. I'm a very honest person. I'm not kidding myself. Could, could I be happier if I, couldn't we all be happier? I mean, but we could all be sadder too. I mean, I'm not as sad as I was when I lived in Alabama. I used to cry. Because I miss my husband, and I miss Kathy, and I miss my parents. I was sad. I was more sad. I know you. maybe you can't tell, but it's true. I don't cry every day anymore. I miss my husband, and I see pictures of him a lot. I know most people have already seen. This is when we first met. I just happened to have it right here. And we, we were so in love, and I had love. I had true love, and I'm very fortunate to have had that. I wish it lasted longer. I wish he lived longer. That's the sad part. But I, and, and Kathy tells me too, I go, oh, I'm never going to meet anybody here. And she said, you know, you just haven't met him yet. And that's the truth. You don't know who you're going to meet, or what's going to happen. I mean, the day I met my husband, I had no plans on going to meet a man. We, we met in a, at, the, at the Countryside Mall in Clearwater. Just at the food court, I met him. There he was. You know, we both looked at each other, and it was a click and a connection. And, and that was it. So, you never know what's going to happen. Just, you know, every day is a new day. And I'm grateful. I'm very grateful that I'm not alone somewhere. I don't, I'm glad I didn't go to Oregon, because I would have been... Living in, a, I know it'd be beautiful, that's not, nothing, I'm not saying it wouldn't be, but I'd be living in a little town on the water, and it'd be hours to get to the city anyway. It, was a, it would be very lonely and cold. So, I don't think there's mistakes when it comes right down to it. I think I'm supposed to be right here. This is where I'm supposed to be. What... Would I have thought years ago that I would ever wind up living in a little small town in Texas? No way. I never would have thought that. And I didn't even think I was going to like Texas, but I, I do. It's beautiful here. Is it different? Yes, it is. It's very different than anything I've ever been through. But there's lots of really friendly folks, friendly, nice people. And truly, they help each other. And it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. And it's up to me, too, to go do things. So, I am 
very content here. I do get antsy and I'm going to have to get in the, you know, in my truck and take some side trips. But Texas is a big state. There's a lot of things to see in Texas that I'd like to see. Austin and I'd like to go to San Antonio. In some, in the future we're going to go to El pa towards El Paso to uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico to to visit uh, the woman that I met at the conference I went to, Sue. And I made her a necklace and I want to deliver it to her personally. So I have no, no problem being here right now. This is, this is where I'm at. And I wish that, you know, it was more of a, like, I wish that marijuana was legal here because instead of taking ibuprofen all the time from my, and I still have a lot of discomfort in my neck and shoulders and arms, both arms. I probably need to go to another doctor, but I really don't want to. And I'm praying and I pray that this heals on its own. The body does heal. It's not worse. It's not worse. And it's not as bad as it was when I first, you know, when I was inflamed, you know, but I still have it. If I move wrong or if I hug, or if I reach way up high, you know, I, I, it, it's definitely still there. But I, I would much rather take medical marijuana for pain and discomfort than ibuprofen and, and tramadol and, and, you know, all that stuff. Because it's not, it's not good for you, you know. But anyway, that's not here in Texas, so that's not going to happen. That's the, one of the only things that I wish was different. Because California, it's legal. Oregon, it's legal. Washington, it's legal. Colorado, it's legal. It's amazing, isn't it? So, you know, that that's true. But that can't be the only reason I go live in Oregon. Or, in, you know, in, and who can afford to go to California, really? I've got friends in the Santa Barbara area, but it's very expensive. So, I am taking what I have been given... This must be God's plan for me because I'm here. I'm accepted and I'm loved. And I love that. That's it. That's what's going on here in my head, in my neck of the woods. I am just wanted to let you all know that I am fine here. It is different and it, it you know takes getting used to, but I've been here long enough. I, I know my way around now and it's good. It's really good. Take care. Talk to you tomorrow. Peace out, my friends. Love you all.